Hello out there in the internet world, and welcome. My name is Ryan Fiegel. I'm here with my friends Josh Sawicki, Sam Goodman, David Short, Rachel Hargroder. We're with an ensemble called the Playground Ensemble. <clears throat> this evening we're gonna showcase some of our educational program. A little bit later we're gonna do some sound painting with the director of the Playground Ensemble, Conrad Keen. But first, you're gonna hear some music from our young composer's playground. <clears throat> I did a program at Denver School of the Arts back in the fall, and I think it was my fifth year doing DSA, and this is now my third year leading it. We're gonna play three works of students from Denver School of the Arts for you. We're gonna queue up videos for you to hear, and I'd also like to do a quick thank you to Mighty Fine for hosting us. Kevin Lee is running sound. <clears throat> and Dylan Baker is running video for us. Our first piece that we're gonna play for you is by Schaefer Helms. We're gonna go ahead and hear a video of his right now. Hello, my name is Schaefer Helms. My piece is called Zip Ties. It's about taking different genres of music and condensing that into five parts and a few minutes of song. Um, one thing to listen for is not the different genres, but what stays consistent throughout the different genres. Um, I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Okay. The next piece that we're going to play is by Jimena Gallegos Ramos. And here's her video. Hello, my name's Jimena Gallegos Ramos. My piece is called Library. It's basically about how I've been feeling over these past few months um, during this pandemic and all the books that I've read and how I felt about those books and the emotions towards it. Um, one thing you should listen for is just, I guess, the harmonies, the chords, and how that has affected my feelings and my emotions. Thank you. So both Schaefer and Jimena were from Richard Seriani's composition and guitar class. The last piece that we'll be playing is by Luca Pasquini, who wrote a piece for what is called our Colorado Composers Concert. It's a yearly show that we put on that showcases um, composers from the Colorado region. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, we were not able to have our Colorado Composers concert, um, but we were still able to arrange getting Luca's piece played for him. So here's a short video from Luca. Hi, my name is Luca Pasquini, and the piece that you're going to be hearing tonight that I wrote is called As the Night Wanders On. Um, so this piece is about my personal struggle with sleep loss. Um, I really wanted to capture the feeling of being half asleep and half awake and getting lost in different thoughts and memories and emotions um, while being alone in your bed. Um, one thing to listen for in this piece is the different string techniques that I used. Um, I really had a lot of fun writing this piece and I'm really excited to hear it and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
Well, we hope that you enjoyed the little pieces that we got to play tonight from DSA, Young Composers 2020. This is my good friend, Conrad Keane, the director of the Playground Ensemble. Uh, I'm gonna set a timer because I could do this all night. <laughs> um, no, not a stopwatch. Maybe I don't know how to run my phone. Well, while you're doing that, Conrad, can I talk a little bit about these weird instruments that I brought? Let's, uh, you know what, I'm ready to go now. So, okay. um, but let's do that. So my name is Conrad Keene, I'm director of the Guess Playground so. Ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'd like to thank you all in internet land for joining us. Um, one of the things that we're going to do right now is give a little demonstration of what some of our uh, K-12 programming looks like when we do bigger assemblies. Uh, something called sound painting, which is a hand gesture, uh, spontaneous composition language. And in a normal sound painting, we would be in a room with however many hundreds of kids and squirmy little bodies we could crowd in there. And then what I would do is I would teach all these great gestures and then we would bring kids up and they would stand where I stand and they get to run the group. And if you've ever seen a third grader that gets to be in charge of sound, uh, the power they immediately feel is pretty amazing. And so, you know, if you want to at home, go grab some pots and pans. If you got an instrument around, you can do these gestures with us. Um, we are streaming live from this very location on April 16th. We are doing a concert called Graphic Content and it's gonna be graphic scores. Part of our K-12 work also involves found sound instruments where we play things that we have either built ourselves or found or had built for us. And I'm going to turn things over to Rachel right now because she has uh, an amazing instrument built by somebody that we are collaborating with on that April 16 show. So. Yeah, so this guy's name, uh, he's a local artist. Uh, he's a composer, musician, and welder. Um, his name is Adam Morford. Um, he and his brother design and build these very special instruments. This one right here is called the Marvin. Marvin. This is like the OG Marvin, like the first one that they built kind of style. Uh, it's named after their grandfather who they uh, inherited a welder from. So that's how he started to get involved in welding. Pretty interesting stuff. So he's got this one, he's got a smaller version. He's got one that's called the Mega Marvin that's about as like wide as I am tall. It's pretty cool and he's got big LED lights in there. It looks like the gaping maw of a monster's mouth or something. It's really crazy cool. But he's got these weird springs on there and it's got, you know, this resonating chamber. It makes it really cool echoey sounds. So he makes these. Um, I also brought some bells that he makes called sleigh bells, S-L-A-Y bells. Check this out. So it's like sleigh bells, but way more hardcore. So we're going to be playing uh, these among many others on April 16th, so make sure that you tune in for that concert. That will be on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, which if you're watching us now, you found one of those two. Um, also, if you're interested in Adam's instruments, if you just go to what I believe is morphbeats.com, yep. and he's here in Colorado, uh, we are always happy to celebrate the home team, right? So let's start teaching a little bit of sound painting gestures. Here's what I need, my young people out there, and uh, my friends, friends, here's what I need from you. I need your best watchers and your best listeners, because at some <laughs> point, I'm going to have you come take my place up here and run the ensemble, right? So I need your best watchers and your best listeners. Now, we are going to make musical sentences, and there are three parts to every musical sentence. There is who, then there is what, and then there is when. So I'm going to do something right now, and then we're going to see if we can figure out what actually happened. Here we go. So that was a lot of things, friends. That was a lot of things. So if we had an audience of young people, the first thing I would say is, what does this mean? And honestly, most kids will raise their hands and they will say, it means get ready, which I think is a great answer because they did have to get ready when I did that. What it really means, it's the who. It means whole group. And so if I want the whole group to play, I do this. If I just want, if somebody's playing and I want the rest of the group to play, I'll do this. Or if I want individuals, I'll point at those individuals. I'll politely point. It's a gentle point. It's please, would you? 
thank you very much. Thank you. It's not you now. You know, it's, it, it's more of a, it's an invitation is what it is, right? So this is get ready, but it's whole group. Then I drew a line, and that's a long line for a long tone or a long sound. There is imaginary staff in front of me right now. And so I can draw long tones in whatever register I want them in. And then this is my go. This was my stop. But then this, this is also one of my favorite things about working with young people. I always say, what letter is this? And invariably, the entire room goes, two, which then I say, two is not a letter, knuckleheads. This is V for volume, right? So this is a fader. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Here we go. So many things we can do there. So many things we can do there, right? So the opposite of long is in fact short. And so within that imaginary staff, I can go like this and I get from my players what are called hits, which are just little staccato notes. Here we go, whole group. Now one thing that's kind of fun is to do something like this. That does get a little unfair at some point, right? <laughs> um, it is a lot to handle, but it does provide a pretty interesting result. In fact, what it provides is a lot of dots, like almost stars in the sky. And that is kind of related to a visual art thing called pointillism. And so we have a gesture for pointillism. If I go like this, which is kind of related to the hits, right? But it's little birds pecking. What I want is little musical dots. And then I have a modifier. So I can take my hands out from my head, and that means I want more space between my dots. And if I bring my hands together, that means I want less space with the dots. So let's play with that a little bit. Whole group, pointillism. Oh, this means enter slowly, by the way, and this is exit slowly, so here we go. Whole group, pointillism. <laughs> Notice how quickly we can move from one gesture to the next, right? Moving from one idea to the next, changing textures, changing musical ideas. Um, so we have pointillism, we have long tones, I have whole group, I have the rest of the group, I have individuals, I have go, which usually comes with a step, right? It's go. Another thing that happens when we work with young people a lot and we bring them up to sound pay the first time, their go is always like a chop. And I'm not sure where that comes from, no matter how many times I say, you're handing them the gift of music. They're like, yeah. Um, but eventually, right, then we go stop, we have exit slowly. So there's a couple other things that we can do. Sometimes as the painter, the person in front of the group, I want to see what ideas the players have for me. So there is something called scan for ideas. And what I do is I hold out my arm and then I run my arm through the group and I'm looking for somebody to give me a good idea. Now, if I like what they're doing, I'll stay there and I'll say, keep going, right? Let's try that one. So I'm gonna keep talking while Josh is playing. So I like the idea that Josh gave me, so I said, keep going. Now this means improvise or take a solo. So Josh, keep going. Rachel, I would like you to improvise a solo on the morph. going my string players we're gonna do something called minimalism which is a short repeated pattern so you two keep going string players 
minimalism, mezzo piano. Here we go. So what I did there is I said, Rachel, keep playing morph, but relate to what the string players are doing. Josh, why don't you take a solo? Come on in. There is a gesture that I really like, especially out of minimalism, called stab freeze. And what happens is when my hand goes into my palm, the players get stuck on whatever note they're playing. It's like a skipping CD. A CD is a round piece of plastic that used to have digital music on it. It was before the interwebs, and then sort of during the interwebs. But Josh, keep going. Everyone else? seen me go like this that's how we have people that are improvising finish their ideas because apparently it is rude to just cut off an improviser so what we do is we go like this Now, sometimes the results we're looking for in sound painting are just a lot of fun and maybe even a little bit silly or cartoonish. So I'm gonna add a couple things. One of them is point to point. And so whenever I point at a player, they play. And when I stop pointing at them, they stop playing. And then I'm also going to use with voice. So we're gonna get a little bit silly here. And I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna go with squeaky toys, all right? So, here we go, whole group, point to point. I just told them to do things I didn't teach them earlier. <laughs> all right, all right. I was trying to sync the squeaky toys. I was trying to get like a little squeaky toy ostinato going there, but I did like this sync kind of thing and then that wasn't happening, so then I turned it into a conducted one, which I don't even think is a real sound painting gesture. But uh, there is a point where a bunch of sound painters from around the world come together and they vote on new gestures, so maybe I'll propose that one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they probably should say no. They probably should say no. 
Um, what haven't we done that I wanted to do, people? Let's do one short sound painting and let's call it a night. So a couple things I want you to know. We are still doing plenty of work in the schools. Despite COVID, we are in two different schools serving almost 250 young people with our Young Composers program. We have added a variant onto that program where we're using Soundtrap now, which is an online DAW. And uh, so we are having students compose inside of this uh, online recording platform, uh, both at Oakland Elementary and DPS, and then Black Forest Hills Elementary, which is in Arapaho. And uh, although my teaching artist may not agree with me, I think we could take on another school or two. Um, or if you wanted to do a virtual sound painting, I have done that as well with the Santa Fe Youth Symphony and some other organizations. We are ready to do that. So playgroundensemble.org, we're happy to bring programs to your schools uh, remotely. We definitely can do this remotely. So let's do a small sound painting for everybody, my people, and then we will call it a night. Thank you to Denver School of the Arts for letting us work with your student composers. Uh, thank you to Mighty Fine for doing such a great job of these streams. If you've been watching what they've been doing out of here, both the Dazzle streams and the stuff we've been doing in other organizations, top notch, top notch. Um, April 16 is our next show, and it will be streamed from here. So let's do a sound painting, people. Thank you. 
All right, friends, thanks for having us. It was good to be here. Playgroundensemble.org. If you are an educator, bring us to your school. If you are a composer, send us your music or reach out to us. If you are a teaching artist, reach out and we might be able to work you into our programs. And if you are just an audience member, April 16 is our next show. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night.